show, Katie. Thanks. This is so cool. It's very exciting. This is your first time here. It is. Yet your fiance, not an actor, beat, beat you to the punch. Beat me to the punch. Uh, he is a musician, and uh, he was here uh, playing on the show like three weeks ago. Yeah. So there, there he is. is, right there. I think he was, you have uh, a closer one. Yeah. There you go. Here it's playing with Jordan Davis. Yes. And, uh, that's there my he is. handsome fiance right there. Well done. Very, very hunky. Yes. Uh, even in the background that night, I was like, "Who is that?" Yes. <laughs> You guys have a fairly uh, great engagement story. We do. Um, I knew that we were going to be spending a lot of time apart this year because I shoot the show in Montreal. So I decided to plan us a trip to Switzerland. Uh -huh. And so we went to Switzerland, and I'm completely oblivious. So he had the ring in his pocket for days. I had no idea. And then he was smart by letting me plan our day. Ah. So I got a list of recommendations, and one of them was a hike where you take a gondola lift to the top of the Alps, and then you hike down to this lake. So we were down by the lake, and I was like, this is so beautiful. There are, like, the Alps everywhere. And he was like, hey, babe, what day is it? And I was like, I know he knows it's New Year's Eve, so I was like, it's Sunday. And I, for the past, we've been together four and a half years, I have dropped not so subtle hints that I wanted him to ask. <laughs> and so he was like, he used to say things like, I'm going to marry you someday. And I was like, you're going to marry me on Sunday? And so he asked me what day it was, and it was Sunday. <laughs> and then he reached into his backpack and he pulled out a letter. Now, three years ago, he wrote me a stack of letters for me to open at times when we were apart. So, like, open when you miss me, open when you're on the plane to see me. Oh, my God. I know, right? Is... right? I apologize to everybody who's <laughs> watching this with their girlfriend tonight. <laughs> and one letter said, do not open until I say so. So I am very guilt-ridden, and I haven't opened it for the three years that I had it. And so he pulled it out at the lake, and I opened it, and it said, Katie, marry me, question mark. Oh, my God. I was, uh... <laughs> That's really awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And congrats on the show as well. This is based on Joanna Coles, who is the editor-in-chief of... Yes, Cosmo. Cosmo. She's now the chief content officer of Hearst. So gotcha. And she what moved was, up. She's an EP on the show. What was it like when you first met her? Uh, well, uh, I booked the show, and they were like, you should go to Cosmo, meet Joanna, meet some writers, and... I had been to Hearst, but like not really, and I didn't really know my way around, but there are these huge escalators, and so I got to the top of the escalator, and I knew what Joanna looked like. And so I get to the top, and she was up at the top, and idiot me, I was like, she's here to greet me. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't greet people. <laughs> And so she was talking to somebody, and I was like, Joanna! And she just went, hello. <laughs> and it registered what was happening, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, I'm Katie on, on The Bold Type. And she goes, oh, Katie! This is the star of our new show. <laughs> And then she brought me up to the office, and she would, like, carry me around to, like, all the writers, the people in the fashion department. But she would carry me there and then leave me. <laughs> so it was like she just dropped me off, and she was like, this is Katie, tell her what you do. And then she left to the point where, at one point, I was like, cool, well, I think I should go. Where's Joanna? So I should say bye. And they were like, oh, she left, like, 30 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> uh, last thing I want to ask you, uh, you're Portuguese. I am. And uh, World Cup going on. Are you uh, someone who's very excited about Portugal's chances? Força Portugal. <laughs> okay. uh, final 16. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, is that somebody that uh, you have feelings for? Oh, listen. <laughs> I just told a really great story about my fiance otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say that I was going to marry him and he just doesn't know it yet. Yeah. And I'm not one for polygamy, but I could be. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see if they win the World Cup. If they yes. win the World Cup, I think if anyone. If they win, yes. Cristiano, Ooh. I could be your prize. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank I really appreciate it. Give it up for Katie Stevens, everyone.